Hey, what's up? This is Matt Dietz, and this is Agency Launch. This is the show where I talk about running an insurance agency. I talk about sales and marketing strategies for insurance agents. I talk about staffing for insurance agents. I talk about retention and customer service for insurance agents. One of the most popular questions that I get right now is, hey, Matt, I know I'm supposed to quote a certain amount of people every day. How do I find people to quote? Well, if you text me right now to 208-213-8809, I have an asset pulled directly from my master class that I'm giving out for free. Text me 20 policies to 208-213-8809, and I will show you how to write 20 policies this week. On with the show. All right, I got something for you today. I got another feather to put in your cap. I got another tool to put in your toolbox. I wanted to introduce you to Brightco. Brightco is an online jewelry insurance carrier, and uh, they are making your life easier and your customers' lives easier. How? Well, quoting is super easy. You can do a quote in like two minutes by answering six questions. All their policies are backed by an AM Best A plus rated insurance carrier. Renewals are automatic. Claims will not be reported on a clue report. That is huge. Their plans offer $0 deductibles. They have 125% replacement cost value. They cover mysterious disappearance. It's everything you want in your jewelry coverage. So do me a favor. If you want to get appointed or check them out, go to bright.co slash Matt Dietz. That's bright.co slash M-A-T-T-D-I-E-T-Z. Get in. Hey, what's up? So I wanted to talk today about a number of things. We'll see what comes out, but delegation has been on my mind. I went to a conference last month and I watched a panel of some of the best agents in the country talking and they did a QA. and a and one of the agents was asked, he was our like specialty agent of the year, which means, you know, he led the company and you know, boats, four wheelers, motorhomes, stuff like that. And they were like, how'd you do it? And he was like, well, there was a point in time in my career where I learned it was important to be, to evolve from an agent to an agency manager. And he was like, I can't take a, a lot of credit for all of the specialty vehicles you know, that we wrote last year. He's like, what do we write? He's like, we write boats and four wheelers. And he's, and he was, he was funny. He was like, and whatever else specialty is like, he didn't even really know, but his agency wrote more than every other agent in the country. And that was, you know, attributed to the fact that he was an excellent agency manager. He made the leap from, you know, agent to agency manager. So, so what does that mean? Our career is a really long, winding path. The agency you have today will not be the agency you have tomorrow or in two years or five years or 10 years, okay? If you're brand new, what you're doing today is significantly different than what you're going to be doing down the road. And so you want to collect these thoughts and skills along the way so that when the time comes, you've built the bridge to make it over to the other side and you will continue to grow and scale and things like that. You can't, you can't keep doing what you're doing today and expect, you know, to grow. So it's a, it's a game of survival. And I remember when it was early in my career and, you know, delegation is something that really is your superpower. It becomes your superpower, but you have to be willing to access it. And the most, you know, the reason that I don't think agents delegate enough, to be honest with you, and I don't think agents get the most out of their team. Okay. So I was coaching an agent and he's like, Matt, I have all this stuff to do. I got all these things to quote. I was like, and I got somebody else who needs something right now, but I got this other thing that needs to be done. And, and I said, I said, Hey man, why don't you let your staff member quote that? And it was like a light bulb went off and he was like, oh yeah, I guess that's a, that's a great idea. And it kind of changed the course of the way he's going to do some things moving forward. Okay. So delegating to your team is something that I think we restrict on because we're afraid maybe we're giving them too much to do. But I also believe that our team 
has a well that we haven't access, we haven't reached the bottom of, okay? We're afraid we're going to make them mad. We're afraid we're giving them too much work. I don't think that's the case. I think they want to be needed. I think they want to feel value. I think they want to have worth. And anytime you ask a staff member for help, my hope is that they leap at the chance. They're like, yeah, man, what do you need? Let me help you out. That should feel good for them. If they roll their eyes at you and they're like, oh, God, another thing? Like, that's an issue that maybe needs to be addressed and maybe there's something else going on there. I work, my my people do everything without complaints and they work really hard. And, you know, so so whether you're delegating today or you're going to delegate down the road, this is something that you're going to have to learn. I want you to look forward to getting to this point in your career if you're not doing it yet. It's something that I want you to strive towards. I want you to get to the place where you're like delegating all this stuff that you don't want to do so that other people can do it so that you can do what you do best, which is market and sell, okay? Or whatever your strength is, okay? I want you to delegate all this stuff. And with that comes trust and training and you have to make sure that your people are qualified and that they are capable and and that they are working in a way that you are happy with. You know, they are giving the service and they're responding in a likely or they're responding in a period of time that you're happy with to emails and phone calls. You know, so there are expectations that have to be laid out when it comes to delegating. The one thing that I've seen cause problems with delegation is there's no timeline. Okay. Can you call this person back? Can you get this cert over? Can you do this? Can you do that? If those things aren't being done in a proper period of time and you're hearing from your customers, Hey, so-and-so said they were going to call me back. Hey, so-and-so said they were going to email this to me and that's getting to you. There's a breakdown in your chain and that has to be addressed. Okay. Your expectation for when tasks need to be done need to be part of the delegation process. So you have to say, hey, can you call them back right now? The next thing you do, I need you to send this cert. I, I've been lucky with some staff members that have just been really high quality. And and the rule of thumb that that they deployed by themselves without me telling them was anytime I went to them with something to do. Can you call someone? Can you work up this quote? Can you do this? Can you do that? And anything that I gave to them, they did next. And I didn't even have to ask them to do it. But that is something that you want to strive towards. Okay. Not out of fear, you know, out of respect or out of out of if I'm going to give you something, it's important enough for me to give it to you, you know, and they just ended up doing it next. And when I learned that, I could dial in the urgency of my requests. So if there was something that came across my desk and it wasn't urgent, I could give it to them and say, hey, can you work up this quote? I don't, I need it by Thursday, you know, and it's Tuesday today or something like that. It's not something that needs to be done right now. It's not urgent whatever. So these are the nuanced things that, that happen in your agency when you work closely together. So give timelines to things you're delegating. The default timeline in my agency with my people is when I give them something to do, they do it next. And like I said, that just kind of organically happened. I don't remember saying that to anybody in my agency. Hey, when I tell you to do something like you do it right now, like that just happened. And I can't speak to how that happened. I don't, I don't know. I, I think, like I said, I try, culture is important in my agency. I think there's some mutual respect across the board that's been, that's been built and grown. And it's, it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful thing to have happen in your agency. So if it needs to be said, I've talked to some agents and other business owners who delegate things and they don't get done. Like, it, they just don't get done. And that would drive me crazy. And that's where I would start giving timelines to everything. Like this needs to be done by the end of the day. Like don't leave before this is done. That's really all that needs to be said to make sure things get done. The biggest red flag, like I mentioned earlier, is if stuff is coming back to me saying, Hey, 
I didn't, uh, I expected to hear back from your team uh, a couple of days ago. I haven't heard anything. That's a conversation that needs to be happening. You got to start putting timelines on. So, so that's, as I wanted to talk about delegation, it's really important. If you can dial it in right, if the culture is there so that your team is, is taking what you're delegating to them and running with it immediately, that's what you're striving for. And you can get so much more done because uh, because everything's clicking on all cylinders, you know? So I just had some thoughts on delegation I wanted to share with you, and I have shared them with you. So there you go. My name's Matt. This is Agency Launch. You can find me all over the place. I'm on Twitter, and I'm on Instagram. I am uh, at Teach Agency. I'm very active on LinkedIn. Please connect with me there. Don't forget to send me a text, 208-213-8809, and send me a text. I am doing some laser coaching with people if you're interested in what it's like to work with me, just text me to that number and text chat with Matt and I will give you my calendar link and uh, book a call. Let's get to know each other. Thank you so much for listening. Keep up the good work.